Hey everybody, it's Mac from Rev Robotics. We're here today to go through the process of pairing your driver station with your control hub. To get started, you're going to need an Android device that has the driver station application already installed on it, a control hub, and a battery. First step that you're going to need to do is you need to plug your battery into your control hub. You need to wait for the control hub to fully boot on, so it needs to have the LED switch from a blue to green. This control hub is fully booted, so we're able to start pair the pairing process. So we now want to take our Android device and open up the driver station application. Once the driver station application is open, you're able to hit the three dots and head to settings. From here, you want to confirm your pairing method is set up as control hub. Next, you're going to want to go to pair and Wi-Fi settings and then find the control hub network. This one is ours and we are able to go ahead and type in a password. Our password is password one, which is a very secure password. Once it is authenticated and connected, we can wait a few moments here, and then we're gonna to wanna to go back to the main page and continuing to head back until we get to the main driver station page. From here, we're able to see that the network is indeed our control hub. We have a ping and we also have a battery voltage. Now you can go about the process of configuring your robot. So again, we're gonna to wanna to hit the triple dots, go to configure robot, and for this, we're gonna create a new configuration. Now we're able to see the control hub portal and also now our control hub, which we're gonna click on. And then this will give us access to all of the motors, servos, and sensors that are available for the control hub. For this configuration, we're just gonna create a motor on motor port zero that is an ultraplanetary. We're gonna click done and done and done again, and then save this as our simple configuration. It's just gonna go ahead and delete some text here and hit okay. Now we wanna confirm that this is activated by activating it. And now underneath the Android robot in the left-hand side, we can see simple there. Once that's done, our robot uh, is configured and we also end up having our driver station connected and paired to our control hub. We can go through the process of being able to select any created op modes and being able to run either autonomous or teleoperated modes. And with that, your driver station is paired. If you end up having any questions about this process or any of our Rev products, feel free to reach out to us, support at revrobotics.com. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you all at the competition.